everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Collects. How are you? Um, I'm actually filming my intro a day late because I filmed last night. I was in heavy experiment mode, um, playing around with flip cups and trying to see if you could swipe them. There's an ant running across my phone. I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what you're about to see is uh, last night's adventures. It's just a little 8x10, um, but it did give me a color combo I really like. And uh, so you'll see that in the next video. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think of the final results. Um, I won't be able to show the dry results until I return from vacation. Um, so hang tight on that. And uh, yeah, let me get you down. Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Collects. It's late night pouring, so got to keep the noise down. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> uh, I am doing just a little experiment piece uh, first, and then if it works, we'll go bigger in the next video. Um, kind of going back to my roots a little bit tonight. Going to do a flip cup, but I might, I might swipe it. Uh, colors real quick. So this is going to be my base. This is a uh, Philocyan Blue by Liquitex Basics. I have some Azo Orange from Amsterdam. Uh, titanium White from Amsterdam. Azo Yellow Medium from Amsterdam. Some Master's Touch in Purple Red, which is pink. And it got a healthy squirt of a fluorescent pink from Golden to brighten it up. And then finally, nope, not finally, we have some blue-green from Pebio, iridescent. And then finally, some quinacridone violet uh, from Golden. Heavy body. That's a lot of colors, right? Isn't that happy? I am using uh, silicone tonight. It took me like 20 minutes to find the bottle. It was buried. But first, I am going to put on a base of this blue. There's nothing in here. Oh, my pouring medium. Well, the recipe will be in the description section. But tonight, I'm using pretty much, um, I want to say, 60% Elmer's Glue Wall, 40% of GAC 800, 10% water. I'm going to put this down. This is rather thick. Let me just spread this out a little bit. All right, good enough. Worry about my sides when I go to tilt. Or I can just do this real quick. So I'm just going to layer these in a cup. I did put a single drop of my spot on treadmill silicone. Where is it? I've lost it again. It disappeared. I don't know where it went. I'm just going to stir this up because it's been a minute. These colors. To wipe off that knife better. I plan to use it. There we go. My ratio for uh, pouring medium to paint is about one to one with a little bit of water to augment. It's on the thick side. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. Mound on a mound. Thicker. For sure. And we're just going to use a baby cup. I have all of these um, paper Dixie cups. I had to double them up because they're super flimsy and just awful. Don't buy the paper kind. Um, and we're just going to layer a cup, a little baby cup, with the little itty bit bits of paint. Barely a half a cup. That's plenty. Yep. Since this is paper, I'm going to stab it with my uh, X-Acto knife to release some paint. Maybe a little more. There we go. That did it for sure. Swipe there. Mm. Swipe there. Give it a little torch. See what happens. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I hate caterpillars. I forgot all about caterpillars. I hate them. Hmm. 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 Am I gonna go again already? Did I put silicone in my cups? I don't see my bottle. I was all organized. Oh, there it is. And it's, <laughs> it's closed. That's not a good sign. Let me do this. Let me grab a plastic cup and I'm going to put silicone, a drop. So now these might, some of these might have two. I don't remember adding silicone. I think I got it out. Oh, I must have. I have cells, but they're weird cells. So I don't know. We'll see. We won't put it in all the colors. This cup's already falling apart. Jeez. Let's try this again. Some white. I don't like the pink that much. Let's go orange. My yellow seems thin. Or it's the cup. That's okay. 
A little more yellow. I'm probably just going to put it right there and re-swipe. Yep. Not going to wait long either. Get that torch. Okay, <laughs> I just made like a hen or a guinea or something. It's of this like, let me turn it right side up for you guys so you can see my guinea. <laughs> this is total practice. So um, <clears throat> I might even just scrape uh, parts of this off and go again. The sounds are cool. It's just kind of a blob because it's too much uh, color. So, I wonder if I can flip it. Probably not. Maybe some of it. I'm just playing around. I actually don't mind those lines. I think they're kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna leave that um, background the way it is. I kind of like it. Kind of tempted to torch it, right? But let's put them just like 
Well, I'll put it around it. That's what I'll do. And I'm just gonna take this plastic cup that still just has like a little bit of white and pink and I'm just gonna reuse it. I'm gonna skip the, um, I'm gonna put Cronacronone Violet on the bench too. I like the brighter colors. drop of silicone in the pink. I like it the way it is. Huh. I do. I like it the way it is. I'm going to do. Spread this out. Nice stone frame, yeah. Yep, I'm doing it on portrait. And I deliberately left bikini corners. Did you guys notice that? And then what I think I'm gonna do is, now I don't like that background. You know, I think I want that plain. I'm gonna take off some of this dirty paint.
I just made it dirty. You know what? I really don't like that shade of blue. But I'm going to live with it. And I'm just about, I'm out of it too. Like I killed off that tube. I guess I'm going to have to tilt to get that the dirty part off. Which is a shame because I wanted negative space at the top. See if I can keep my cell shapes. Bring them back down. Am I happy with it? Um, I'm going to say this is an exercise and what not to do for next time because I, I should have scraped rather than putting that second cup because it's too much color and I really wanted just small areas of cells. Um, but I think It'll work for a larger canvas. I don't like this. I love the colors. Um, so do I want to get a little painting out of this? I think if I want to get a little painting out of this, what I should do is this. Let's do this. This is just for fun. That was testing. And now let's just make a little painting for fun. So I'm going to put half the white in here. We'll use this beat up up here for the other half of white here we'll do one first this will kill off the colors and everything too the yellow And also, I'm going to change out um, the shade of blue for my background. I want something darker. Um, let's go pink. And maybe we do break out the uh, Quinn Violet. Take it off the bench. We'll throw a little at the end. This is plenty of paint for an eight by 10. Thanks for hanging out and watching me experiment. Oh my gosh, this cup's gonna fall apart. Leave it alone. I have to do something to them. And we'll give these a tilt before we uh, torch, too. I like those lines. It's had some lines. Yes, a little something, something. Love, I'm glad I'm doing this uh, on camera too because I'm really happy with the uh, my color choices, except for the blue. I want a darker blue, but th these color choices, super happy. All right, let's tilt this around. Now we have plenty of paint.
See, I'm so used to, uh, I feel very rusty with these. I don't have like a, uh, my little card holder <laughs> or anything. Let me use a stick. I will cheat and use my fingers for what's going to happen. Totally rusty with these. I'm just going to go for that one corner. Save some paint. All right. Blue corners be gone. Let's take, let's take my orange stick, orange and white. And we'll put orange and white on this corner. We'll leave that one corner, this matches up nicely. We'll put you there. We'll leave that one be blue and that one's fine. Give this a light torch and uh, see what happens. I love this though. I might try to stay away from that area. Here goes nothing. Let's give that a second. Let things grow. I'm just gonna go back and forth. This is definitely my whole focal point though. Make the cells a little bigger. It got a little crazy down here. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of liking this. It's fun and happy. It's good summertime vacation painting. So I'm trying to get some uh, videos done for you guys while I'm gone. And I saw a bubble that I want to pop without using my torch. There we go. All right, let's give this a little tilt. I want to hold it portrait for a second because that's kind of how I see this painting. I think I'm just going to come down toward me for a second. I don't like this one corner. Let me see if I can get rid of it without losing the blue. Swing the blue back. Actually, if you can put a bend in this, that would be cool. Give it some movement. Take a little bit off of this side. Have that one line go all the way across. And then bring it back. I know it's upside down for you guys. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more off the bottom and then take it back up. So I don't want my cells to get too wonky. But I need to lose some paint there and take it back up. Straighten things out. That was some good practice, y'all. Now I'm debating about the one big cell. <clears throat> Let me stare. You know I hate that corner, right? <laughs> I'm so weirdly obsessed with corners. But 
If it do anything, it would be put a shard of orange or pink on it and just leave it be. It looks terrible. Hold on. Get a clean finger. Yeah, I don't like that corner. I'd rather just pour some orange on it. And give it a tilt. going off. I don't know about that one cell. Hold on. It's not going to have as a um, snazzy of a composition than I had a minute ago, but I decided I didn't like that big cell. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take it off. And then bring it down. I still like that quiet area. Okay, I probably um, made it a little worse than it was. But like I said, this is practice. This is still a cute little piece. I'm done. Um, next video, I'm going to go big uh, and do something similar in the same colors. And hopefully with a little bit of negative space, but darker so it's the wrong shade of blue. Let me get you guys done for a quick little close-up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, so I went to move this over onto my mat to dry and decided to tilt a little bit more off to get this line going across and now I'm really really happy with it it's adorable this is the bottom and I really really like the colors very very much Oop. try not to create a shadow and then here's the top and the colors are just great let me go let me go this way do it without a shadow right got like a little mountain with some clouds coming down the little body of water and it's just uh it says southwest to me even though it's not in southwest colors i don't know why it just does but that was a good little practice piece and uh next video i will go larger yep uh let me say goodbye Oh my God, you guys, it's like 3 a.m. I gotta get my butt to bed. Peace and love to you all. Please like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. One more video, uh, so I have enough to hold you over while I'm on vacation. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.